You guys made it to week seven. Congratulations. And this week is all about the last inflammatory food of the top six inflammatory foods that we want to swap out. And that is inflammatory oils, or what I like to say are refined oils. So there's a lot of inflammatory oils that are um, very obvious, right? Such as hydrogenated oils. We know that those aren't good for us. However, there are some oils that um, can be a little bit confusing. Someone just in the Facebook group today asked me about canola oil. So canola oil is is high, the way it's processed, you guys, they put, um, is it petroleum? They put some sort of chemical like petroleum into the oil to process it. And then they say they filter it out, but there's lots of um, lingering amounts of chemical left in canola oil when they process it. So canola oil is highly genetically modified and the way they process it is really is quite toxic for the body. So canola oil is something probably the most common oil in somewhat health food products um, that you'll find. And you want to make sure you have an eye out for that from pestos and hummus to um, chips or crackers. Really keep an eye out for canola oil. Um, and then there's a few other oils, right, that you want to stay away from, and those are typically seed oils that have been heated, which is the other really common thing you'll find in health food products. So um, safflower oil, sunflower oil in particular, those are the any sort of seed oil, if it's been heated, like in chips or crackers or bars, that causes an inflammatory response. Now, if you have a cold press hemp oil or flaxseed oil, right, a healthy omega-3, omega-6 oil, and you keep it in the refrigerator, you don't let it warm up, and you pour it on your salad or to put it in your smoothie, it has amazing health benefits. But traditionally, safflower, sunflower type oils, those cause an inflammatory response as well. Occasionally, I will get some chips that are like non-GMO, that um, have nothing else in them, except for safflower oil, you know, safflower oil, sea salt, and quinoa or something. Um, but I don't get them very often. And if you have an autoimmune response, I really wouldn't recommend them. And what's fun about chips is that there's a lot of new companies. Kettle makes them. Um, there's a bunch of different chips, or two or three, I should say, that are using avocado oil. Avocado oil is one of the best oils to use if you want to heat it up high. So avocado oil does well with um, hot temperatures. So if I buy my kids um, or my husband and occasionally I'll have a little bit of like a potato chip cooked in avocado oil because that oil can be heated high. Potatoes are really commonly genetically modified. So you want to look for non-GMO, organic avocado oil, sea salt, right, instead of iodized salt, these things to look for. Um, but if you're frying anything in a pan, avocado oil is great. The next oil that can be heated pretty high that is, is good for you is coconut oil. Coconut oil is great for sautéing. Um, it's okay. I don't think it's as great for, like, frying. You'll see some chips with coconut oil. I think avocado is lighter and, and does better. But um, coconut oil is, is it's what we put on our toast. It's what I cook primarily with because it has antibacterial, antiparasitic properties and actually goes into your body and fights against inflammation, those boulders and rocks, if you remember from our water lesson way back. It fights against the, against the inflammation stuck inside our body. Coconut oil can de help to detox the skin. It's great to use as a lotion. It's so It's such an amazing product. Um, and really, really healthy. And then the last oil that I recommend cooking with, and these are really the only three oils that I use at all, are, um, uh, do, 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 do. what is it? Olive oil, of course. But I use extra virgin olive oil. I'm just seeing if I have one over here. And um, when, this is a company, Genesis Kitchen, G-E-N-E-S-I-S -E -E Kitchen, um, it's out of actually Whitefish, Montana, and they have a label um, from the Veronica Foods Company. So Veronica Foods or Genesis Kitchen, it's the same olive oil. And why I love those is that they're cold pressed. So if you look for olive oil, you want to make sure it's extra virgin, cold pressed, organic olive oil. 
these oils are extra virgin cold pressed and I think most of the time organic. And the thing about these oils in particular is that they have a very high polyphenol content, which is extra anti-inflammatory. Now, what's important to know is that olive oil, just generally speaking, you when you if you heat things up too hot in olive oil, it, the olive oil can go rancid and it doesn't deliver the same benefits as if it's something you're putting on um, a salad or something you're just slightly sauteing but not heating up really hot. The Veronica oils and the Genesis Kitchen oils come in amazing flavors with no processed sugar whatsoever, but they have oils like blood orange, and then they have vinegars, um, cara cara white orange vanilla vinegar. Oh my goodness, you guys, those mixed together makes turns a salad into dessert. They have a cranberry pear vinegar. Um, is it a cranberry pear? No, it's a cranberry pear, yeah, vinegar. And then the olive oil, they have a Persian lime olive oil. So you can pair those together and make beautiful salads or put it in your smoothies. Um, they have the lemon olive oil, lemon infused olive oil. And none of these have processed sugar. So a lot of infused olive oils or vinegars will sometimes have processed sugar in them. None of these do. So I just like to point that out. When I started using the Genesis Kitchen oils, my world was rocked. It turned salad into dessert. I bake with the lemon olive oil because the other thing, because the Genesis or the Veronica olive oils have a high polyphenol content, you can heat them to a higher temperature than your average olive oil. Um, so my lemon bars that you'll find the recipe in this in piece of cake, you guys are amazing if you use the lemon infused olive oil in the recipe. So good. I'm getting a little sidetracked. I think I'm hungry and want a yummy salad. Um, but so while there's a bunch of different oils that don't work, it's kind of like processed sugar. There's a bunch of names of, of processed sugar. There's a bunch of oils that don't work very well. But what you do just want to look for is extra virgin coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, or um, avocado oil. Those are the three oils I recommend. And people often ask, ask they ask people ask about butter um occasionally i will do the grass-fed grass finished butter for my son because he loves that on his toast i don't really cook with it for any other thing your body may tolerate that but extra virgin uh cold press or excuse me extra virgin coconut oil is so good on toast so the rest of our family loves that and that's how we eat it um you can if you're cooking or baking something and it calls for butter, you can swap it out for coconut oil all the time. I cook our eggs in coconut oil. Like coconut oil is where it's at with our family. We love them. So that is what we're looking for, you guys. Again, re become a renegade researcher. Read the ingredients and see what you can find to um, really get the refined oils out of your diet. And then congratulations, because you will have swapped out all of the top six inflammatory foods. You guys, this way of eating saved my life. It was a huge component of what saved my life and drinking water and meditating. Um, and so I'm, I'm deeply touched. I'm going to tear up. I'm deeply touched. I'm deeply honored that you trust me and that you have taken action, that you've gotten this far, that you're taking action, continually putting one step in front of the other. That doesn't mean you're perfect. I was far from perfect. It took me, honestly, a couple of years longer than any of my clients have ever taken to adopt this way of eating. But it was the perseverance, the consistency, the continually taking a step forward no matter how small that brought me to this way of eating where I've not, this is how I eat. Like I, I, I don't have to think about it. It doesn't, it's no effort. I don't um, have to like create mindset around it. It's just my lifestyle. It's, it's, it's the way I breathe. That's the way I eat. And it is beautiful. So that is where you all are headed. And I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. I love you guys and have a beautiful day.